Hi there, Coach Sage Kande of sagerunning.com here with another training talk. Today we're going to give you a quick running form tip that's going to align basically your whole body position so you could run more efficiently and hopefully reduce the risk of injury. Let's get started. All right, so the idea with running tall is we want to avoid the dreaded heel strike, landing out in front of your center of mass, the heel strike, elbows wingy, your hips are really low to the ground. It's like you're squatting almost. So you want to focus on running tall. That's the cue for straightening your spine, your whole upper, your whole body position basically, and bouncing off your feet, your ankles. I'm doing almost a running man dance there type of drill. That's obviously very exaggerated, but it's showing kind of the ankle action and the propulsion you get when you're landing under your center of mass off the mid foot mid middle part of your foot or at least your whole foot hitting the ground as long as it's not a heel strike out in front of your body it's just better physics you're getting more propulsion more powerful push off force utilizing your calf muscles in the back of your legs to your glutes or your butt muscles basically and springing off the ground so you could practice that by jumping up and down like this drill we see here straightening the spine and realizing that the forward lean and running comes from the ankles the ankles and feet hitting the ground and the rest of your body is is pretty in line you're straightening up your back you're lifting up your stomach and your rib cage it opens up your diaphragm so you could breathe better and be more efficient when you run and my form is far from perfect. That's why I do these exaggerated high knee lift drills and running man types of drills, skipping, butt kicks, things like that, because it's all about efficiency in running. Efficiency to make you run faster, but also to minimize the risk of injury from impact force and repetitive strain. There's a lot of force coming down with each foot strike, two to three times your body weight. And if it's a braking heel strike in front of your body and you're riding your hips too low, and running short like I kind of do sometimes, then it's gonna put a lot of strain. It could also strain your hip flexors, your lower back, cause a lot of pain. So that's what we're going for. Just think run tall when you're out running, try to be as tall as possible. It doesn't mean you're trying to spring up as much as possible. You still wanna not have too much vertical bounce or oscillation, but you wanna keep that chest upright. You wanna keep in a straight line, keep those hips under you and in a straight line and up high so you could open up the legs better. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more training videos like this as well as check out our playlists. Also, uh, you can check out our training plan, coaching website, sagerunning.com for 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon, ultra marathon training plans. Thanks so much, guys. Comment below, like if you like these videos and stay tuned for more.